I'm tired of brain rot content. This weekend, I found myself experiencing a little bit of friction as I was working on stuff, and a couple of those days where you feel like you're kind of walking through treacle. And when that happens, you open an opportunity to get hijacked by the doom scrolling monster. And you'll be proud to know that I didn't go back to my darkest addiction, Mortal Kombat Mobile, but still, the, <laughs> the fact that I was taken off task, I was a bit miffed about. And on the other hand, I have so many highlights from books that I've read and articles and videos and everything, the highlights and lessons and insights that the past version of me has flagged and been like, oh, future Yusuf needs to see this. But for some reason, our brains just want to pull us back into the old slot machine of brain rot content instead. So I sat myself down with my wobbly sausage and I said, all right, can I actually remember one valuable thing that I've picked up that's tangibly improved my life from doom scrolling? Drawing blanks. And it doesn't justify the time spent scrolling every day. Tristan Harris, one of the ex-Google engineers that kind of was part of the, you know, dopamine slot machine team, is really big on this. Time well spent as an idea that if you get to the end of the day and the way that you did spend your time doesn't match up with how you would have planned to spend your time, then something's off. And algorithms and social media and all those things are big contributors to that gap of how I'd like to spend my time versus how I did spend my time. Obviously, we are ultimately responsible, but the trick is to use moments of strength to create systems so that in moments of weakness, you're not then drawn into doom scrolling. Otherwise, despite your best efforts in the moment, future you gets hijacked. And then that sends you straight to hell. Right to jail, right away. That is, if you define hell as where the person that you become meets the person that you could have become. And that is just the compounding effect of every day just spending 20 minutes more than you would have liked to doom scrolling. The final big problem with this is that you are what you eat, mentally as well. What you consume is the substrate for your future thoughts. And so if you leave that up to chance, up to randomness, particularly if that content is designed to keep you on screen as long as possible, so rage bait content, drama, emotional roller coaster type stuff, then that's just laying the foundation for your future thoughts. Now, back to the highlights. So you know that I'm a Readwise fanboy. It gives me the perfect laundry chute for all inputs. Anything that past me decides that this is something that future me needs to deliberately read or consume, then I can stick it into the laundry chute and then I have one queue of content to read, highlight, save into my notes. And you can see where I'm going with this because problem, solution, I made a free open source Chrome extension to solve my own problem and hopefully to help you reclaim your time back as well. And it's free because I'd rather that you do that and reclaim some time than trying to sell this for like five pounds or something. So what it does is it takes past you as the protector for future you in moments of weakness. Basically, when you're on the feed, it replaces the feed on your Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook with your Readwise highlights. Stuff that you consciously chose to read and enrich your life. So I'm really excited about this because the long tail benefit of how this upgrades your entire mental landscape is huge. So here's a demo of how it works and you can download it in the description below. This is Feedwise. By the way, I'm just a Readwise fanboy. This is not an official app. I'm not part of their team. So when you open the extension, this is what you'll see. So click to get started, drag in your Readwise export so you can get that from here. And then when you open a new tab, you will see the highlights that you decided to put in and you can add ones manually through here as well. And then when you go on to Twitter, Instagram or Facebook, you will see your personal algorithm of highlights. So there is a simple solution to take your Readwise highlights, use them to upgrade your feed, upgrade your mental landscape and stop doom scrolling at source. So you can get this extension by going to the Chrome extension store, searching Feedwise and I'll put the link in the description below as well.